Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're taking the Subaru apart again. For those who are not familiar with what happened, basically we got a loss of power at high RPMs and a, an oil leak which is coming from the wastegate solenoid which means there is either a blow-by or the turbo is about to go. The oil is coming from somewhere so what we got to do is a few tests I'm gonna try and get to the turbo check the play on the on the shaft do a compression test on all four cylinders check if there's any oil inside the intercooler and that's pretty much it I'm gonna check the spark plugs see how they look all right let's, let's get to it Okay, so not much oil. Well, there is oil in, in the inner cooler, but I was expecting to for it to to be dripping, dripping out. Looks like there's quite a bit of oil in the intake. That explains the smoking. So that's your cold side of the turbo. Yeah, that's just filled with oil. Anyways, then this air compresses inside the inner cooler and then enters the engine. kind of dryish in there so is it coming from the turbo or is it coming from the engine is the question well look how clean the throttle body is oh, it's kind of hard yep it's pretty clean you saw the numbers here's number one number two number three number four so a 20 percent difference is too much they should be if if they were all at 120 that'd be nice that'd be good 128 or 130 i can't remember but uh, a little bit higher would be ideal 120 is still okay too much of a difference between highest result between the lowest result so now 
I'm gonna go and uh, check the play on the turbo. After much struggle, this intake, man, they got four or five bolts underneath the intake manifold. Here you can see these, and then more on that side there, holding this harness and the fuel lines. I mean, I understand if uh, I've taken these engines out before, you know, it's much easier uh, to take the intake manifold off. Um, the engine when the engine is completely out of the car but if you gotta do a job you know let's say uh, replace I wanted to take the turbo inlet pipe because these are prone to crack I want to take it out and check it out it seems okay it is it's got oil in there quite a bit just here The pipe, I, I don't see any visible cracks. I'm gonna clean it and look at it again. But man, this intake. Anyways, we got the turbo exposed, the cold side. You can see it a bit there. I can't take this intake out completely because of the fuel lines here. Again, I mean, this is ridiculous. There is a little uh, screw, which is upside down, obviously to uh, remove this this line here I'm not even gonna bother now but the main mission is completed which was getting to the turbo somewhat and I'm gonna check the play okay so side to side there is a little bit of play, which is okay, which, you know, it's, you gotta have very, very little amounts of play, side to side, back and forth, there's no play at all, nada, zippo, nothing, turns nice and free, which kind of tells me that it's the engine. So what do I do at this point? Obviously you gotta take the engine out, take it apart. There's probably damage to the pistons. What's been happening with these engines is the... Um, I don't have a piston to show you, but... Let's imagine that this is the piston, okay? Top, bottom. You got your uh, piston rings right here right going around and in between the piston the piston would actually crack in between the rings on top on bottom in the middle in between and i mean i've seen where one, a buddy of mine actually had an 07 
and the piston once we took the piston out just one of I believe it was number four this whole piece like a C broke off in between the rings and just came out when we uh, took the piston out out of the block it was the same kind of uh, symptoms that my car is having right now which is uh, quite a bit of oil consumption and uh, low compression <laughs> fighting with this for hours now let me show you what's going on so at this point I already tried pulling it out several times took out the turbo I thought maybe there is a uh, bolt that I'm missing or a nut uh, behind the turbo but there isn't I mean I've had this um, hoist on uh, twice already pulled it away for the third time rechecking if I'm missing any bolts because it's it just does not want to separate I started uh, kind of uh, trying to get a, a sharp screwdriver or a, you know some kind of a wedge in, in here trying to separate it I think it's just welded together from you know from dirt or it never being apart before I mean, some of the stuff that I, I took out, I didn't have to because it would come out uh, with the engine. But uh, like I said, it, it is impossible to separate at this point. I guess I'm going to have to get aggressive. wasn't really filming it because I had uh, many interruptions. People coming in, people calling me, it's just on and off. Uh, it got frustrated to a point where I, I just said, uh, turned the camera off and you know figured I would show you the final part where where the engine actually comes out all right so check this out I got it somewhat separated with this guy here this is a beast this air hammer anyways check this out I mean I'm, I'm slowly but surely destroying the transmission housing here you can see it here I mean everywhere so this side looks like it's coming off all around under underneath uh, as well there's a dowel pin about halfway down and from the outside when I look uh, at it from underneath it is pretty rusty I can see the head of it at first it looks like it like a broken bolt but it's not it's it's a dowel pin and that's where it's holding it all together yeah i mean look at this this is this is crazy never had anything like this happen to me before i've done maybe five four five subarus only one uh, STI before it was an 07 years and years ago 
uh, didn't have an issue like that. This is crazy. All right, a little update. The problem area is separated. Now it's a matter of pulling it out to the front more so it clears the, the flywheel, the, uh, the clutch, and pulling it out, which obviously is not going to be easy. Success! Check it out, check it out. The engine is out. Looks like, from here, it looks like the clutch is okay. Turbo. You can see where it was stuck. Right here, look at this. It actually came out with some aluminum. I don't know if you can see this, but... Yeah, this was the problem here. And look at this. Not really worried about this. I'm just gonna file it down on the transmission and on on the engine, and I'm never gonna see it. Well, never say never, but you know what I mean. You know, you won't be able to see it. The intercooler is right on top here, and I must admit, like a dumbass, I forgot I was this much off, and I couldn't pull it away anymore because I forgot there is this pin here where did I put it this pin I forgot to take this pin out it sits here and it holds the uh, the arm the clutch arm whatever you want to call this holds this in place and um, the I think the fork yeah the fork and this was this here was holding the throwout bearing right in there. It was literally like this when I took it out. So I had to uh, put the engine, push it back. There's this Allen nut here. Take that out. Then you have access to the pin. Then you screw in a, uh, a long 10 mil bolt and then you're able to pull this big ass pin out and then the fork becomes loose you basically just you know take it off the throttle bearing and then voila it just slid off yep next step <clears throat> next step is to clear this off and this is going to be the the workbench the engine workbench for the time being. All right guys, that's it for this one. Next up, we're gonna disassemble the engine. See you later.